Well, parents, if your son or daughter goes to college here in Alabama, you may be concerned about COVID-19 on campus. That's one of the things I talked with today with the state's top health officer, Dr. Scott Harris. As students head back to college campuses statewide, working through COVID-19 is part of the new school year. I think they actually all have very thoughtful uh, plans uh, that would work as long as, as they were followed by, you know, the students themselves, you know, but there, there are so many things beyond the control of the university. So is there a scenario where schools would have to move to all remote learning? I don't know that they have a hard trigger or a cutoff number. Uh, maybe some of them do. I, I don't know. Uh, but I, I think that that's obviously been part of the calculation all along. You know, at some point there may be a disease to the extent that that becomes a, a consideration for us. Another issue both on and off campus is making sure our state doesn't take a step in the wrong direction following the upcoming Labor Day weekend. We had uh, big spikes uh, of cases and hospitalizations and even deaths following Memorial Day, also following the 4th of July. Uh, we don't want to see that again happening, you know, after Labor Day. Um, we, we hate for, you know, mid and late September to look like mid and late July. Uh, in fact, I, I just don't know that our hospitals can can sustain that, you know, for a long period. Dr. Harris's message to everyone, even if you think you're not at risk, think of others. Maybe a third or even more of people with COVID-19 uh, are asymptomatic or, or so mildly symptomatic that they don't really uh, recognize that they're ill. And yet they can spread the disease to other people, including those who are seniors or those with chronic health problems who are at risk for a really bad outcome. And Dr. Harris added that as we head toward cooler weather, we don't know how that's going to impact COVID-19. Other than the risk of people potentially gathering in smaller spaces during winter months, months that could lead to more community spread.